Okay. Uh, okay, so good evening to you all. I'm Jubair Rahman, lecturer, Department of English Studies, State University of Bangladesh. On behalf of the Department of English Studies, SEV, I would like to welcome you all to the inaugural session of Distinguished Lecture Series. Today's workshop is on teaching of English literature, contemporary approaches and methods. I want to express my gratitude to the chief guest of the session, Professor Ali Hassan, sir, Dean School of Business and Social Science, our chief guest, Professor Dr. Saidu Rahman, uh, special guest, our Professor Dr. Saidu Rahman, advisor, Department of English Studies, FUB, the resource person of today's mm -hmm. workshop, Professor Masoud Saidu Hassan, and all the participants for your valuable presence. At this point, I'd request Tohida Yasmin Humara, ma'am, the acting head of the Department of English Studies, to give us a brief overview of the distinguished lecture series. Uh, thank you, Zubair. Honorable Chief Guest of the session, Professor Ali Hassan Sar, Dean School of Business and Social Sciences. Our special guest, Professor Dr. Saidur Rahman, Advisor, Department of English Studies and uh, President, Peso Society of Bangladesh. The resource person of today's workshop, Professor Marshal Shohid Hussain Sar, my colleagues and dear participants, a very good evening to all of you. It's my privilege to share with you that this year State University of Bangladesh has stepped into the 20th year of its academic achievement. To mark the milestone, the Department of English Studies is proudly launching this distinguished lecture series. Distinguished Lecture Series is an initiative taken by the Department of English Studies, State University of Bangladesh, to invite experts in the field of language teaching, linguistics, literature, and culture studies to facilitate workshops, lectures, and seminars. The Department of English Studies intends to bring prominent experts to allow both the faculties and the students to get acquainted with the latest theories, research findings, pedagogical innovation, the best teaching and learning practices in the relevant fields of study. The main objective of this series is to ensure dissemination of knowledge in the diversifying field of English language and literature and culture studies. This series will foster philosophical ideas and critical thinking, which is necessary for the academic and professional development of both the faculties and the students. On top of it, it will motivate the students and the faculties to become practitioners with the most updated knowledge. It's an honor to have Marshal Shahid Hussain to, uh, with us today to facilitate the inaugural workshop on the teaching of English literature contemporary approaches and methods. I must mention here that the Department of English Studies will continue to arrange workshops, seminars, and uh, webinars under the headline of uh, Distinguished Lecture Series. So if you are interested, you may consider liking and following the page of Department of English Studies. The links will be given to you through the Zoom chat box. By this, you can be updated always regarding any activities of the Distinguished Lecture Series. Finally, I thank you all again for your valuable presence here. Hope you'll enjoy the session. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. At this point, I'd request our special guest, Dr. Saidul Rahman, sir, our dear advisor, sir, to say a few words about our program. Assalamu alaikum and good evening. Honorable Chief Guest, Dean Professor Ali Hassan, School of Business and Social Sciences, our resource person, Professor Mashur uh, Shahid Hussain, my colleagues, distinguished guests, and personal attendees. At the advisor of Department of Studies, State University of Bangladesh, it gives me immense pleasure to be here this evening and to address the attendees of the State University of Bangladesh Distinguished Lecture Series. This lecture series has been very considerably established by the Department of English Studies for overall growth in the fields of language teaching, linguistics, literature, and culture studies. I'd like to thank Tissot's Literature Special Interest Group of Tissot Society of Bangladesh, which is our partner in this initiative. I congratulate the association on marking its one-year journey this month. As a voluntary organization working with national and international ELT professionals, educators, and research enthusiasts, the Society of Bangladesh has already made an impressive mark. The 
the society has arranged a good number of resource filled teaching learning program using online platforms despite the challenging times of the COVID-19 pandemic. I'd like to thank you all for joining us tonight. We all know how difficult it is to find time, better ourselves, engage in discourse in this trying time. So I really appreciate you attending this program. This year marks the 20th anniversary, anniversary of the State University of Bangladesh. In these 20 years, the English Studies Department has produced a steady stream of qualified graduates determined to make our nation prosper, while also focusing on making the English language literature studies affordable and approachable for all. Currently, we are working to upgrade the bachelor's and master's curriculum to match the demand of the time and the current trends of academia, as well as other notable programs and activities to fully utilize the potential greatness of this department. Upcoming plans for this department include cultivating career placement by linking with the media houses, publications, and corporate industries, as well as arranging more pre-service and in-service teacher training programs and certificate courses. We are also in the plans of arranging a world-class conference on our permanent campus of State University of Bangladesh. This distinguished lecture series, as our head of the department already mentioned, is one of such attempts to assimilate knowledge amongst all. As mentioned previously, this lecture series is to allow prominent experts in their respective fields to do what they do best, educate and enlighten the minds the latest, with the latest theories, research finding, and so on. The plan for this is to make sure current inquiries and discoveries of the English language and literature find their way to us. Fostering philosophical ideas and critical thinking, we aspire to develop both academically and professionally, whether you are a faculty member or a student. We hope this will motivate both parties to become experienced practitioners armed with modernized, inquisitive, and research-based knowledge. We are excited to have this inaugural session with Professor Master Shoyed Hussain from Janginagar University. He is a well-known researcher, publisher, and paper presenter on a wide range of interesting topics, including but not limited to from comparative literature, post-colonialism to critical pedagogy, culture studies, gender, and queer studies. Currently working on online Bangladesh literature, he also convened the first ever online literary festival in Bangladesh, English Jubilee Lit Fest 2021. I understand you all are very excitedly waiting to hear what our illustrious facilitator has prepared for today's topic. The teaching of English literature, contemporary methods and approaches. So without further ado, let's welcome Professor Master Shahid Hussain. Thank you all. Should I start? Yeah, uh, Zubair, over to you. Uh Sir, I think before uh, letting Master Shah to start the workshop, we need to uh, request um, Professor Alu Hassan so, uh, to inaugurate the session. So thank you so much, sir, for your valuable words. But I would now request uh, Professor Ali Hassan, sir, to say a few words and inaugurate the Distinguished Lecture Series, TLS. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Assalamu alaikum and good evening. Thank you to Ms. Tawhida Yasmin, head of the Department of English Studies, Dr. Saeedur Rahman, the advisor of the same department, and also all the members of the Department of English for inviting me to such an important seminar. To start with, I'm not a fit person for this, this seminar. It's too critical, too high thought. We, the layman, we do talk English, we do read English, but we don't know how to criticize as you do in English literature. We enjoy reading books. As a young child in the schools, we were, I was a fan of Perry Mason and Agatha Christie. That those were the starting for me. 
later on, I graduated to Mark Twain, Ernest Hemingway, Huckleberry Finn, Old Man on the Sea. We read it. We enjoy reading it. We relate with them. But English department, you do go deep into it. You try to relate, you try to explain the circumstance, the situation. We, we the plain readers, we don't do that. Recently, I read Brick Lane, Kite Runner. These are award-winning books, but I don't get, I don't understand why those books were written. To me, as a layman, I found them useless. Old Man of the Sea, we relate with it. Huckleberry Finn, we relate with them. Hmm? Hmm? For whom the bell tolls, we relate with them. But I don't understand. You may know the reason why uh, Brick Lane got awarded or why the uh, Kite Runner got awarded. I'm completely at loss, I don't understand why at all they were written and why at all they were awarded so, so big uh, um, uh, awards. So as I said that as a layman, I'll simply listen to you people explaining the things. Uh, hope to, I hope I'll be making sense, try to make sense of it. Huh? So I do officially inaugurate this session. Hope that all of you do enjoy this session. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for integrating the session. This brings us to the end of our first session. Before starting the uh, workshop session, I will give a brief introduction. To, I, I don't think I need to give an introduction to Master Sai Zasan, sir. He, he needs no introduction. He has been an inspiration to many of the young graduates of English literature background to take teaching as a professional profession. And I have no doubt that he had motivated many of the participants here as well. So I uh, I know you are all have been wait you all have been waiting eagerly for the workshop. So without any further delay, let's get started. After the workshop, there will be a question answer session. So if you have any questions, please write them down in the chat box, and Sar will answer them at the end. So Master Sir, please take over. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, a good evening, and I would like to welcome you all to this. Uh, lecture come workshop session. I think uh, Professor Ali Hassan uh, tune on tone of this workshop and lecture. Uh, that is uh, uh, what the general reader or general readers uh, may approach a literary text and uh, how a literary student or scholar approaches a literary text and uh, where lies the difference so uh, it is uh, that that this difference that uh, this workshop or what we say lecture uh, will address. So uh, if I would like to start with a note of thanks to the people involved in this uh, the organization of this uh, lecture come workshop. Uh, that is uh, so everyone whoever is involved with this, uh, I would like to thank them all, and it is my pleasure uh, to be here and uh, to be invited to offer this first lecture in this series of distinguished lecture. Uh, so as the title itself uh, tells us that this virtual lecture come workshop outlines uh, three C's, that is three uh, uh, contemporary, we can say contemporary methods that we employ to render our teaching of English literature more effective and more efficient. Now, this phrase, that is the teaching of English literature, is intriguing. It is intriguing because uh, many of us, maybe all of us or uh, most of us, have the assumptions that readers know how to read and understand, even make comments on literary verbs. For example, don't we buy novels, don't we read novels, don't we buy several books of a single author whom we like, are not uh, books like Harry Potter's or Salman Rushdie's books bestsellers. So readers must understand these literary texts and they must also be able to evaluate, to like or to reject books and writers, otherwise uh, they would not have bought books. Because understanding literature usually appears to be a matter of common sense. Uh, so it makes sense when we study mathematics or business or philosophy, but what is there to study something that readers are able to read, understand, and appreciate? It is with these assumptions that many of us 
learners and teachers alike approach the study of literature. Uh, that is uh, the, the, the assumption that there is nothing to study about. Now, since learners' attitudes to literature are much shaped by the ways teachers approach literature, it is important that we take the teaching of literature in concern. So for today's lecture, I would like to use a PowerPoint uh, because uh, uh, it, is, it involves lots of jargon and specialized terms. And uh, so let me just know whether you see the slide. Yes, sir, it's visible now. Okay, fine. So uh, this is the title of this uh, talk, or we can say workshop, The Teaching of English Literature, uh, Contemporary Approaches and Methods. So in this uh, lecture come workshop, I intend to explain or explore the charm and the responsibilities of teaching English literature. So I will outline some methods of teaching of English literature in Bangladesh, which are in tune with what I would dub critical effective approach to literary study. And I say in Bangladesh, uh, this phrase is significant uh, as we are talking about teaching English literature or teaching literatures in English in Bangladesh. So it is about a cross-cultural academic business. It is a transcultural, transnational transaction. Because we are in Bangladesh and we are reading a novel by Thomas Hardy or a poem by Robert Frost. Understandably, our understanding is categorically different from the understanding of an English or an American reader. This is a point that we tend to forget. In the name of universality and canon formation, uh, the colonial propaganda and Western academia have naturalized this forgetting. Therefore, I would like to start my discussion by addressing the cross-cultural interaction that English studies in Bangladesh necessitates. And B, I would like to call it apprehending the other. And my focus will be on thematization. So many of us may have read Thomas Hardy's Test of the Double Bills. So how should a reader respond when they finish reading the novel, when the protagonist, uh, who was rather victimized, a faces death sentence. Uh, generally, we feel sorry, and there is generated a sense of tragedy. But the question is whether this novel and its ending generate similar kind of interpretation. Students of comparative literature may recall the experience of I. A. Richards when he was teaching this novel at Ichingua University in Beijing in the 1920s. And once he finished reading the novel, that is, uh, this is the end of the novel, when uh, that is upon the cornice of the tower, a tall stuff was fixed, the eyes were riveted on it. And after a few minutes, uh, something moved slowly up the stuff and extended itself upon the breeze. It was a black flag. So it suggests that, uh, the protagonist is sentenced to death, and this is completed. Now, we understand that it generates sense of tragedy, but I. E. Richard's experience was different. Once he finished reading the novel, but once he finished reading these lines, the students at that Chinese university started to clap, and they celebrate. It's somehow flabbergasted I. E. Richard's that what's going to happen? because he was expecting rather a somber mood. It took him time uh, to inquire actually what happened. And uh, then he gradually understood that for the Chinese people, for the Chinese readers, Tess was a kind of villain because Tess did not listen to her father. That is, she disobeyed. And so her death is a kind of punishment. And so they celebrated this punishment of a disobedient child. So this is important to note, and that is what I wanted to foreground at the very beginning of the discussion. That is the end of Tess uh, is likely to generate a tragic vision. But in a different culture, the same ending offers or has a didactic dimension. So in this initial discussion on the study of literature, what I concentrated on is first 
uh, the importance of exploring the why and how a writer created an image or a theme. And uh, second is how that theme or event or image is consumed by readers in different cultures. So how a meaning changes when a text crosses boundaries or cultures. This is particularly relevant when we are talking about teaching or studying English literature in Bangladesh. So my today's talk will unfold in uh, five sections. Okay, uh, are you seeing it uh, moving, the slides? Static, static. Oh. Yes. Second slide. Yes, I mean, uh, is it moving or not? I mean, I'm not sure because. No, 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 no it's, it's not moving, static. sir. Static. It's not moving. Static is static because it's showing it that there is something. Sorry. We are still in the first slide. Sorry? Still in the first slide. Uh, it's not moving. Oh. It's not moving. Dear participant, we are facing a disconnection issue. We are going to get back as soon as possible. Please wait patiently. Thank you so much for your patience. Uh, Zubair, could you please stop sharing your screen? Yes, uh, sure. Meanwhile, we wait. I talked to Master Shred Hassan Sir. He said he will just need two minutes more. Meanwhile, we can. Uh, have a look at the SUV video, the video that the Department of Movie Studies has already. I would just like to share this video with you so that you can have an overview of the department. Let me share my screen. Is it visible? Yes, ma'am, it's visible now. The Department of English Studies at the State University of Bangladesh began its journey as a full-fledged department in 2003. At present, the department is offering BA Honours in English, MA in English Literature and MA in Applied Linguistics and ELT programs. Department of English Studies is one of the richest English departments in the country. We are actually giving a lot of scholarships waiver so that our student can be benefited. We have internship, we have teaching practicum, we also have research opportunities. So the students when they graduate they can actually get job in any places that includes teaching, corporate bodies, journalism and any other department they want. We do have a well equipped language lab with modern state-of-art computer lab so that a student can practice the listening and speaking activities under the guidance of supervisors. All of our teachers are well trained and graduated from top ranked public universities in Bangladesh. For the professional development of our teachers, we have been organizing series of workshops seminar and international conferences. Apart from that, we also have in-house teacher training opportunities. We have very well-placed uh, alumni network and they're quite successful in their professional field. We hope our students will enjoy their time here. They will also be able to emerge as an enlightened human being and contribute further the betterment of the nation. I hope you enjoyed the video.